Welcome back for another Extreme Clean with me. I am cleaning up after we had our youngest birthday party. If you missed that video, go back a little bit and you will find that and watch all the fun party prep and excitement of her party. But with a fun party comes a big mess, so I decided to get the girls involved and we took this head on. In all transparency, this video took me many days to put together because I could not clean our entire house in just one or two days. So we started with the main part, which was the decorations, and the girls had a lot of fun popping all of these balloons. Whenever we host a party, I'm really particular about tidying up and getting all of the clutter out of the way for the kids to play and not get into, honestly. And I've learned to save the big deep cleaning for after the party because, you know, kids are messy and with them running in and out of the house, there's a lot of dirt that builds up. So I was sure to flip over the bar stools and get all the gunk off the bottom. And later you're going to see me shampoo the carpets and it was pretty bad. I have been through a lot of different kinds of mops. I've tried Swiffer, electric mops, classic mops, and the spin mop is by far my favorite so far that I've tried. I mix super hot water with just a couple caps full of pine saw or any other kind of cleaning solution that I have lying around. And I feel like it just gets the job done way better than any of those other things that I've tried. I think it's a deeper clean and my floors actually feel and smell a lot cleaner. I'm curious to know what kind of mop do you use? Have you tried a spin mop? I feel like they're really popular right now and pretty much everybody uses this kind. About once a month I try to take all of the cushions off of our couch to wash them and deep clean them because they do get kind of gross with little kids. Also when I was filming this one of my girls hit the camera so I didn't get the full thing of me taking them off but it is quite the job and that's why I only save it for once a month. After we adopted our dog last year, I knew I needed a carpet shampooer, and this has been my favorite purchase since we moved into our home. I use it pretty often. Anytime there's this big spill, or somebody has an accident, or the dog is messy, I pull this guy out. But especially after we have guests, because it just gets dirty on this rug. And we have a white rug, and I try to maintain it, and this helps so much. In a minute, you're going to see just how dirty this rug was. Ain't that no 
I get a lot of comments on and questions about this little table that we use for the girls. They don't eat at it all the time, but we mostly use it for sensory things like Play-Doh or rice bins. And that's the thing I love about it is it has those little compartments that we can use and just switch out. It's perfect. I really love this table. And if it ever gets messed up, we will be 100% getting another one. They're just from Ikea. I'll be sure to link it down in the description box below. I will say I love having cushions on a couch that are removable, especially with little kids. It just makes it a lot easier to clean, but putting them back on is a task. I don't really enjoy it, to be honest, and that's why I saved this for the next day. And I was laughing because Indy was so tired. I felt so bad. It was time for a nap, but she just fell asleep on one of the cushions. It was really cute. I think to myself. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but when I'm hosting a party, the other parts of our home get put on the back burner big time. And even without a party to plan, our master bedroom definitely gets put on the back burner all the time. So it was time to get ahead of this mess and get it all cleaned up.
There are a few household chores that I tend to neglect and cleaning our blinds is definitely one of them. It's just something I don't think about and I forget about it pretty often, but I love having the Swiffer. It makes it so much easier, especially when I have to get up high. And you'll see in a second, I don't actually know how well you can see it in the video, but I show you a little before and after and it was pretty dirty. I hope you enjoyed this extreme clean with me, whether you're watching for motivation or actually cleaning with me. I appreciate you being here and watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe for more. I have some really fun videos lined up for the next couple weeks, one of which is just kind of going around my house and doing all the unfinished things, like these picture frames. They need to be realigned. Well, just the pictures inside. The picture frames are fine, but things like that, things I just need to get done around our house. So be sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.